Alright, this is my uh, first attempt at Splunker. Uh, first recorded attempt. Uh, I've been playing this a fair bit recently. Uh, I can maybe about 30% of the time beat it now. So I'm gonna. I just beat it the uh, first time uh, yesterday. Then I beat it uh, again this morning. So I'm gonna see if I can just. Uh, do that. Right, believe it or not, that spot uh, kills me fairly often. You you have to jump from the rope pretty much to the ladder. You try and uh, there's not enough space there to get off onto the the ground, you end up just uh, falling off the cliff and dying. Oof. I thought that would have killed me. I always jump from uh, straight from the ledge to the uh, target platform rather than try and uh, jump from platform to platform. It just reduces the amount of uh, platforming you have to do. Uh, platforming is uh, dangerous, so it's uh, best not to do it. That jump from this rope uh, to the left is uh, dangerous. Uh, you have to jump very low, otherwise uh, you'll carry yourself too far into the screen and then uh, right into the bat poop. I'm avoiding, I'm just trying to beat it, I'm not trying to get a uh, high score or anything, so you can see me uh, not getting any treasures that rely on, you know, actually tricky jumps that might kill me. Uh, there's no point risking a life for uh, one bag of gold or whatever. The trick is to always move in the opposite direction on the rope before you, or the ladder before you jump uh, because to jump you have to move in that direction and then hit the jump button so you will often move one pixel before you actually jump which if you're at the very edge then you'll move off of the ladder and then die before you can jump off the ladder move in the safe direction. Oh. Okay, I guess the steam got me there. Uh, 
You can, you don't have to jump over that to be safe from the explosion. You can stand close to it, but I guess I was a bit too close to it. I'm not sure exactly how far you have to be, though. Uh, so there's a couple spots in the game where you can jump, and then it will give you a random item. In that case, it gave me a double speed, which is not helpful. It just makes it... you're not any more resilient, so you just fall off cliffs and stuff easier. Uh, but it could have been an extra life, or uh, even just a... Uh, I think a double score thing, which wouldn't have mattered, but the, uh, the double speed is just bad in most... I guess if you were really good and you are doing a speedrunner or something, you would want the double speed probably, but, uh, not me. Oh, where's he coming from? Let me use the fan to get rid of him. Nice if there was a uh, blast uh, sprite that so you can tell actually you know where the safe distance was because I still don't know how far they uh, they reach. can't use the fan while you're on uh, a rope or a ladder or even like the mine cart or things like that. So it's important to get rid of those guys uh, uh, while you uh, can. Ah, see, there we go. Double points. I was hoping for extra life. This spot is uh, fairly tricky, actually. Mm. Yeah, so I forgot you, you can't fall that far. Uh, about, you know, 16 pixels, that'll kill you. So, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have dropped there. Yeah, this part kills me a lot. Dropping off here would kill me too. I haven't tried that before, but uh, since I just realized, you know, it is 16 pixels, uh, yeah, that would kill me. Uh, you also can't be too high, or you'll hit your head on the roof there. Okay, let's start. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna make this actually. I've lost too many lives. the next level will give me another life. And I should hopefully be able to get one more uh, one of those uh, those glowy dots. They give you a random item as well, just like the hidden spots. Uh, it could be a bomb or a flare or a life. Those can't hurt you, going down into you, they won't crush you, but, uh, okay, that was an error it gave me. But they, if they're going up, they can crush you against the ceiling. Or I guess rather they, I don't know if it's technically crushing you, or if it's... Uh, 
or if it's just going through you and then you fall. I hit my head on the roof there. Now you have to jump into the pot. You can't just walk into it or you'll fall in the water. Yes, now you, you don't have to uh, use the flare there. And it's actually probably safer because it means the bat uh, will not uh, just appear above you like he almost did there. necessary to get those, but uh, it'll get me some bombs and flares and stuff, which I guess I might need. Points. Yeah, I guess part of it's just luck on whether you get... Uh, extra health or not, or extra lives from those. Again, I should probably just not go over here. It's uh, dangerous for no real reward.
do the less dangerous thing here and just wait for it at the bottom. That's another thing. I don't usually just walk off them like that because, uh... Okay, good. Sometimes if you walk off, you're... I don't know, there's some ledges where you can't walk off, you just die, and it's sometimes hard to tell. Oh, I should've, uh... Yeah, I should've got the, uh... That before I went down there. That way I could have uh, not got it if it was. Uh... It was a double speed thing. Yeah, it also like boosts your jump like crazy. Like if I jump now, I would probably like fly over onto the uh, elevator from there. It just makes it way too hard to control. It you know it messes up all the positionings for the jumps. And ladders or ladders and ropes are like impossible because you, uh, like I said before, like you know you gotta hit the jump like immediately after moving, but it just shortens that time by too much, so you end up falling off them. Normally I do the flare farther back, that way, uh, is it, it can, I'm pretty sure it can kill you if it lands on your head. Ah, oh, mistimed that. Yeah, you've got to kind of time three separate things there, the, uh, the bat poop, the, the flare falling back down on your head, and the steam. So that was good there, I, I got an extra life from the uh, hidden spot. Decides where to spawn you. Yeah, and another thing with the ghosts, they can kill you uh, right up until like they're completely gone. Like if there's just a bit of them left, they will kill you. Yeah, I've got three lives. I think this is the uh, third level now. Thank you. 
low there. I've never actually fallen off the bottom. I didn't know uh, how far down I could go there. Yeah, see, it's easier just not to flare the bat. That way you can, uh, you know, you can see where he is. He's not gonna just appear back over your head or anything. Repeated rope jumps that are the uh, most dangerous, I think. Yeah, this is the part where I haven't. Uh, I know I should figure out a good route for this. Uh, I spend a lot of time just waiting. Cause you gotta, you know, I gotta put a bomb here and then jump across to get away from it. But now I can't, uh, can't get over there. So I guess go down here. There's nothing, uh, nothing really important down here. Uh, it could have been a life, I guess. So. Now, if I recall correctly, there is uh, nothing important to the right. Okay, I was hoping for uh, life there when I got that. Uh, I guess. He's gonna run it there anyway, so I guess that was good enough. Oh, I Yeah, I really hope there's nothing important to the right there. Looks like it goes off screen to another room, but uh, there's nothing there. Okay, well, there's that time thing that's, uh, I have gotten that before. It's, it, you gotta jump just right, and you land on the bottom, actually, so, uh, it's, uh, I wouldn't recommend getting it. <laughs> This is the last level. Uh, I've only okay. I've yeah. I don't think I've ever even died in this level except for right then. Uh, usually, if I get past the uh, the second level, like every time I've gotten past the second level, I've beaten the game. So. I might get the game over here.
So there was a, uh, there's a secret spot uh, up here. I can't tell what it, I think it's the times two. It's, it's all red, so I'm not gonna bother getting it. always gotten hit there. I never really figured that you could use the flare from so far away and then just run in. I've always just uh, jumped in, got the item, and then gotten hit. I think I have enough keys. I hope so. several times too. I wonder if, you, if those are actually items, if I can get them. Like, you can't get them normally, but uh... Anyways, that's uh, the end of it. Now there is like, uh, you know, New Game Plus mode or whatever. You can go through it. Uh, again, everything's purple. Uh, and then apparently you can go through it like a couple more times. Uh, I don't remember what exactly the difference is. I've never bothered going through it, but, uh... Yeah, so there's, uh... That's Spelunker. Oh, green, I guess. Anyways, yeah. So, I actually like... You know, this game's got a really bad reputation. Uh, it's, you know... You know, if you see like worst, uh, you know, worst 10 games on the NES or whatever, this sometimes will be on there, which I don't think is really deserved. Uh, I think it's more just, uh, it's got a very precise uh, gameplay. You know, you your jump length is fixed. Uh, you know, if you fall more than like 16 pixels, you die. So it's just very. You, know, you gotta be precise, you gotta just, uh, you know, carefully plan all your jumps and stuff. You can't just, uh... Ah, uh, there, okay, I got the key there. I guess that's, that must be the difference. The keys are invisible. So I just gotta remember where they are. Uh, I'm not actually going, I'm just talking. I'm not gonna bother going through this completely, but, uh... Yeah, it's just very, you know, it's precise. It's, you know, to use like the you will use term, it's like, you know, the Dark Souls of uh, NES platforms. You just gotta pay attention, uh, you know, move and jump when it's safe and all that. Uh, it's actually the uh, Switch version. 
I actually played before this, uh, shortly after I got my Switch, uh, it was way back near launch, there wasn't that many games, and so I made a, you know, a Japanese, uh, Nintendo account, and, I uh, was looking for games on there, and I saw the Splunker Party, uh, but at the time it was like, uh, Mina, Mina de Wawai Splunker. Uh, it's, uh, it's since came out, uh, here, but, uh, I saw the demo, uh, downloaded it, loved it, and then, uh, imported the, uh, Japanese version of Splunker. And, uh, played it a ton. It's one of my most played games on the Switch. Uh, you know, it's up there with, like, uh, Breath of the Wild and Odyssey. And so after playing that a bunch, I kind of, you know, I learned that there was uh, an NES version, so I played that. I didn't end up really playing it a ton until just recently, but I was like, okay, yeah, this is pretty fun too. Yeah, so, uh, not sure what else there's to say about it. Uh, I like it. Uh, I never played it as a kid or even, you know, knew about it till a couple years ago. Uh, it must have been a fairly early NES game, because it, well, I guess I could just look that up, uh, or the title screen probably said, I think it was like 87, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, it's an Enrom, uh, you know, no mapper game. It's, this is the bare, uh, NES hardware, no additional, uh, storage or anything. Alright.